Hello, this is Carrie O'Donnell from Tarot by Lavina, and if you would like a personal reading with me, please go to my webpage, tarotbylavina.com, and set up an appointment with me. So today we are going to do a deep dive on Merrick Garland and the DOJ, and see what's going on with the January 6th committee as well. This has been sort of inspired by comments about my Merrick Garland question that I read on during my last live stream and I feel like I need to clarify my personal beliefs. I look back on the tape just to you know see what my words were, if I misspoke, and overall I just want people to understand and I, I feel like I'm going to start by looking at this past reading and just clarifying certain points within the reading. And to understand that I do read the cards, I try not to put in my personal opinions, but I do have personal opinions. And that's okay because I'm a political reader and this is my channel and um, and I also I welcome the comments from others and I'm glad that people wrote comments or put another opinion. In some ways you're keeping me in check. I like that. But I will say this, and this is for the future, especially if you're a new viewer. This is what I do promise. I very rarely block anyone. I don't block people because they have a different opinion than me. I don't block people if they're just trying to vent about a political situation. I have blocked um, about seven people since I've been on in 2020, April in 2020. And a couple of those people were legit trolls. And they're just basically Trump trollers. And the other five were people who attacked me personally. They either personally attacked my abilities, personally attacked me like as a person, um, and I didn't, I don't like that. I, I feel like that is just crossing a line with me. If you don't like me personally, or if I'm not vibing with you, or if you don't feel like I'm a good reader, there are so many other options out there for you to watch. Uh, so those people were blocked. I feel like that was negative energy that I don't need. And then of course, I block a lot of spam that does happen here on YouTube. Otherwise, I allow comments to flow as they're going to flow. So it's okay to comment on or disagree as long as we can have an actual conversation and we're not attacking someone personally. And that's my promise to you, the viewer, because this is America. We all have different opinions. And I think at the end of the day, we all want the same thing. We want peace. We want to prosper in our economy. We want to have strong leaders, and we want to feel like we do have that freedom of speech, that freedom to be who we want to be. And we want that for our children, and we want that for our grandchildren. And I feel like if you've stayed on this channel and other channels like my channel, it's because you believe in those core values, those American values and the spiritual values of being one community. But as far as the details, sometimes we have different opinions, and and that's okay. Um, that's part of a democracy. I'm going to start by reflecting on that question that was given to me in the live feed. If you want to skip this part, you can. And then I'm going to move into a deep dive on Merrick Garland to get more details and to get more answers. Juanita's question. Hey, Carrie, my question is, do you see Merrick Garland being fired for slow in or not doing anything? The January investigation. That's what I want. I want to know, too. And I think that kind of showed up a little bit when I asked about Trump's missing time. I was really frustrated because it seemed like there was something coming forward, whether it's an indictment or we feel like he's finally going to be held to account. And it seems like he's slipping away. So let's take it from Merrick Garland's point of view. So, yeah, I am frustrated. I'm frustrated as many people are. Um, that we're not seeing justice. And the reason I think I feel that frustration is not because I think he isn't doing anything. I understand that he's very methodical and he's here to do the job right. 
and he needs to do the job right <clears throat> because as has been pointed out, Trump is really slippery. But I also feel this impending time um, situation. The truth is we're really on the edge in the United States. It's, it's not that we uh, elected Biden and now Biden's in now and everything's okay. We have plenty of time to bring people to justice. These people are still very, very dangerous. And as long as they're not held to account, uh, the more damage they can still do. And it, even though the good news is we keep looking up the midterms and it looks really good for us and everything looks like we're on track, that's good. But is this a given? Is everything just rosy or we're out of the woods? I'm actually not feeling that. And I'm actually feeling that the midterms might be an important turning point for us. Is he going to be fired for not acting more quickly on the situation? Mark Gollin. All right, so it starts with the Five of Swords. Walking away from battle. Now, I could take this a couple ways, but I definitely need some cards next to it to figure it out. Not doing the work, All right? So this could be walking away from the battle. Uh, I'm not doing what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm not getting into the fray and and holding these people uh, to account. I'm walking away from that. I'm not doing See, my job. I am not. This segment, I didn't put forward my own opinion here. I was just reading the way the cards read to me. Um, I feel like this is a perception in the American public as far as um, when I was doing the reading, I think that's what I was feeling, that he is walking away from his duties, basically. that That's the perception, that's the beginning, that's where we're coming from in the spread. And upon reflection, I thought that battle card really could have also meant the war itself, uh, that there are other battles where Merrick Garland had to put his attention and that he has to walk away from the intensity of the work right now. I think the combination of those two are really what's happening right now, and in no way was my personal opinion that somehow he's not doing the work. The Emperor. Now this could be someone who's in charge. Um, this could also be Trump himself. So let me get a context here. This is my Five of Swords reverse. This can be conflict, but it can also be legal issues or having problem with legal issues. Now, I could take this as uh, he finally gets in control um, and he starts to, to throw out some indictments or paperwork. But a lot of times I get this for bureaucracy and legal paperwork and such. Let me get a clarifier because I'm not getting a firing right off. Yeah, Ten of Swords, we're recovering and we're celebrating. Um, I'm not getting a firing. I'm actually getting him taking more control. There's going to be some maybe indictments, paperwork, legal stuff that's coming to pass. We're recovering again and we're celebrating. Okay, right here in the segment of the reading, I want to remind everyone that I got a very positive outcome that even though there is this perception or maybe in fact he can't really focus on the things he wanted to do as far as uh, putting forward indictments right now, I feel like there is coming a time where he is going to take control of the situation, he's getting through the bureaucracy, and there are going to be indictments uh, moving forward because we did get a celebratory ending. So I'm getting the absolute opposite of being fired for not doing their job. I actually get that Merrick Garland is going to start holding some people to account. Now, I do believe, even though the, the actual chat doesn't show when you download the video, that um, Faye or, or someone had asked, is he feeling the pressure? 
And yes, I actually get that he is feeling the pressure. And I'm going to tell you why. Again, I have to go back to why is it that I am not um, feeling very relaxed about him taking his time here? Because there is time. We are not out of the woods, right? The midterms are coming up. And I'm going to tell you, I know we get in our bubble sometimes, but I've taught, I talk to a lot of people who are not in the psychic bubble. They're worried about inflation. They want to see that someone is being held to account. There are a lot of people who have the attitude of, see, I voted for a Democrat and look, they're not doing anything. They're getting away with it again. Why should I bother? They're so weak, et cetera, et cetera. Again, these are not my personal opinions. These are the opinions of a lot of people that I can talk to around me in the community that I live in. And I live in a very liberal blue state. I'm just putting it out here. I mean, that's just the perception of a lot of Americans. What would turn that around? Well, what's going to turn that around is the midterm elections. And what's the best way to win the midterm elections? That they're, I think they're putting pressure on him. They're trying to align all of this up so that that story is told. The story of the betrayal of America is told publicly. That the last thought in people's mind before they go to the polls will be, wow, you know, look what these people did. I'm not going to vote for them. I think, personally, these are my opinions. That This is my prediction. This is my... Um, sense of what they're doing. I think that they're trying to align things with the January 6th committee and they're trying to make this happen right before the midterms. Therefore, that is why I'm feeling that Merrick Garland is feeling a little bit of pressure here. Obviously, there have been some wrenches that have been thrown into his work, including this war. <laughs> you know, this is and there's a lot of intelligence work and, and a lot of things that are going on just with Putin himself and trying to deal with that and trying to stop World War III from happening, pretty much. Merrick Garland has a lot on his plate. Absolutely. So I, it, to me, this looks like he's not being fired, but that he's going to like, all of a sudden things are going to start to move again. Um, and he's taking more control. That's what this emperor is about. So not fired, maybe he's going to finally get things moving again. I'm still concerned about the Trump thing just because I wasn't getting a good read on that. It's something I think I might want to revisit at another time, kind of see if things change. But right now I kind of get that we're going to see that he might start to do some work again. Okay, right here, my bad. I shouldn't have implied that he's not doing any work with my comment. Maybe he's going to do some work again. I think, honestly, I misspoke there because that's not how I feel at all. I know Merrick Garland is doing a lot of hard work. I know he's methodical. Um, I knew that from the very beginning. I'm just feeling right now that time pressure. That's what I'm feeling psychically. That's what I feel personally. And I did miss. I did misspeak here. So I, I apologize. I didn't mean to imply he wasn't doing any work. But am I hard on Merrick Garland? I know someone had commented on that. Yeah, I think I am. Um, I feel like we all need to be, I don't want to say hard on. Maybe those, that's the, I don't want to, I don't want to say, I don't want to make it seem like I'm upset about it, but I feel like, I want to hold my leaders accountable so that they can hold the other leaders accountable. I feel like in a democracy that that's what we do. No, I don't think Biden is beyond criticism. I don't think Merrick Garland is beyond criticism. I'm not of this group of thinking that because I voted for a Democrat or supported a Democrat, that they therefore are perfect and can do no wrong and that I can never criticize them. I think that's where we got in trouble with Trump. That's not the way America used to be. You know, I, in fact, I've read biographies and retrospect about many presidents and, you know, we can assess all the wonderful things they did and then we can assess um, 
some of the ways they slipped or some of their faults. And the reason we can do that as Americans is because our leaders are not kings. They are not gods, right? They're human beings and human beings have flaws, just like I had the flaw and misspoke on that last line. I'm here to clarify my thinking. I think that they're doing a great job. I'm putting my faith that they're going to hold these people to account. I also feel like it's my job to point out when things are not going so well. I, I just think that's part of being an American, honestly. And you may disagree with that, and that's fine. Um, I'm sure there are other people out there that will align more with your belief system. But for me, I feel like we need to advocate for justice. Now, with that said, I feel like there's a lot we need to look into here. I would like to do a deep dive and revisit some of those questions on Merrick Garland, the DOJ, January 6th, and see if we can get some more detailed answers here concerning those issues.